guys welcome back I'm gonna have another little go at the flower 3d flower uh, and see how it goes slightly bigger this time because I would like to eventually do a big one but that was the one I did last week love it that was the front that was the back gorgeous so I'm going to go again with this. This one, this one was a 14 centimetre. This one is a 19 centimetre. Um, and I've got my resin here. I'm using the Barnes Clarity only because I've still got some. That's it there. That's a two part to one part. I've mixed up, because I don't need a lot, I've mixed up 145 grams of part A and 65 grams of part B. And it's in here. It's been sitting in there for 20 minutes. And I'm going to see if that's going to be enough time. We shall see. I'm not sure whether it'll be enough time for it to thicken up. It's starting to go warm. Now in here I'm going to put in... Mm, I'm not going to put in, I'm going to put in 20 grams of resin. I'm not, I don't think I'm going to need a lot because you don't need a lot of colour for this. So that's my clear for my white and then I'm doing teal. So this is the 20 grams for the teal. Oops, 21. I'm sure one gram's not going to make much difference, but let's just get it back to 20. <laughs> there we go, 20. So that's that one. Um, this one is going to be for my glitter. I don't need the scale anymore. I've got this, just a tiny little jar of like a tealy coloured glitter. So let's pour some of that in need a lot just for the center I've ordered some chunky glitter which I think will be really pretty for the centers of my flowers because I'm enjoying doing these flowers whether or not I can do it again is another story may well just be a fluke <laughs> all right so that's that one so you can do these it's the same as acrylic pouring you know you can do the same recipe the same colors over and over and you get a different outcome each time so I don't know how this will go today um, now I'm going to pour the rest of my resin in here just wondering if that's going to be enough yeah it'll be all right I don't want to change the recipe too much stick to 20 grams because I know 20 grams is going to work just enough in here to let that resin just push out to the edges. I've got a little bit left. Um, all right, I'm going to add a little bit more. Um, 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 um. Oh, I'm so indecisive. Let's just see how much we get, hey? So I only need a little bit for petals. Like I don't need a lot, but it's it's bigger. But then when I did that one, I had heaps left, didn't I? So, all right, stop worrying about it, Julie, and just get on with it. Right, cast and craft um, white pigment paste. I got that from eBay. Now, when I first got it, it had like a longer spout on it and I could not get anything out. So I actually sliced the top off. Now, really carefully, carefully, carefully. You only want two little drops. Let them come out on their own. Don't squeeze it. Let it. Let the drop fall down on its own. One, and it'll have a, like a little train behind it. That's okay. You don't want much. Don't squeeze. Well, maybe the tiniest little bit of pressure, but you don't want to give it a good squeeze. So two, that's it. And then two for this one. It just sits there on the end. One. Two. Yep. I find having too much, it just makes it too heavy and it all kind of sinks through to the bottom and goes blobby. 
So that's for those two. Now I'm putting in a white, one white and one teal, one drop of alcohol ink. Hopefully the teal will be enough. I don't, I don't want it bright. So I, I think that the ink just helps with the um, sort of the wispiness of it. That's my opinion. I don't know. What do I know? I've only been doing this for six weeks. I'm still learning. So that's it there. The teal and the white. Oh, it looks blue in there, doesn't it? What do they have to change colour? That's okay. It'll still be a pretty colour. It's more of a baby blue now than a, a teal. Maybe I need another drop. Just scrape down the side there and get a little bit more off. Because the ink kind of sticks to the side. It's not very, not very dark. I think I might have to add another drop. And if I add another drop into that one, I add another white into this one so that they're the same consistency. It's really a very milky, milky blue color. So let's try one more drop. And here was I thinking that it was going to be too blue or too green. I thought it was going to be too green and it's gone the opposite way in blue. doesn't look much like teal, does it? It's a better colour anyway, so we'll see what happens. Still not real dark, but that's okay. I'm happy with just a faint hint of colour. I think it looks really pretty that way, especially against the clear background. I think it's really pretty. Just a little hint of colour. And the white takes on some of the other colour as well. So you get white, pale teal, and then the darker shade of teal. So that's that's them there. Hopefully it's enough. Still got a little bit of resin there if I if I need it. Right, let's pour this into the centre. I put a little black dot there on the underside of my little mold so I know where the middle is it doesn't seem to be as thick as it was last week when I did my pink one but like I said every time you do it it's different I think it also depends you know on the temperature of your room there we go that'll be enough oh no Get out of there. You've got to be careful, don't you, not to spill. Okay, now we've got our colours. Oh, I'm still not very happy with that shade of teal. Oh, I'm going to go with another drop. It's just too washed out looking for me. I'm not going to put any more white in though in that one it's very blue maybe I should have put a, a drop of green in when I put my test piece of teal onto a piece of card with all my other colors of alcohol ink it looks quite green it's more this color here but I guess it's the white that's changing it maybe anyway there we go now I've got my little cups I've got my two piping bags that I got from eBay. I think they're really nice and easy to use. They didn't cost a lot. I think I've got a packet of, a, of 50 or 100 or something like that. It's just easy to use. Just fold, fold them over. Put the point inside the cup, fold it over the cup. Push your finger down there. Okay, doesn't feel very thick to me at all, but anyway, look, I'm going to go with it. 
I did a practice one earlier today and I let it go too far and it was too thick and um, it just all dropped to the bottom. I didn't get any wispiness. So I made the video but I'm not showing you because it's it didn't work. <laughs> so now I'm timing it, you see. Because when I did my pink one, I didn't time it. It was just leftover resin from um, my coaster pour. And I figured, well, the video took me 20 minutes. And then, you know, I mixed up my colours. So I let this one sit for 20 minutes while I go and put a cake in the oven. <laughs> and, uh, and then I mix the colours. So hopefully it's going to be similar. Hopefully. All right. Now, let me just zoom you in a little bitty. I'll just zoom you in on this one before I go. All right. So that's what I'm hoping for. Probably won't get it. It's probably a fluke once in a million pour. Right, there we go. Zoomed in nicely. Oops. Move my light. There we go. Hopefully that'll be all right. Get my glove back on. All right. So take that out. And push it down. Oops, I've got some air in there. Give it a twist. And I like to have a piece of paper towel just sitting here that I can rest it on so I don't make a mess. Okay, push that one down. Now these are actually sealed. You won't get anything coming out until you actually cut those. So... Let's do the, oh, I guess I can cut it. I keep getting my glove twisted in there. Now, um, just the very tip, like so. You can just sit there for a minute. I guess I've made it about, um, hopefully they're about the same. Blue looks a little bit thicker, a bit bigger hole. Anyway, we'll see how we go. So I'm going to try and do a different pattern with this one. It's a bit different to my other one. So make sure you hold your bag in your, in your hand like that so it doesn't drip into your resin. I'm just going to see how much I've, I'm getting coming out. So I'm going to try and do like a, like a leaf. I call it a leaf shape, but we'll see what happens. Who knows? It'll just be what it <laughs> ends up being. I have no idea. Um, I can't really do this backwards. I might have to turn it around. I'll try and do it backwards. Whoops. <laughs> Whoa! No, I can't do it backwards. There's one there that I've stuffed up. It <laughs> doesn't matter. I've got a little bit of white left. Okay, now with the blue, I'm going to do the same thing but kind of overlap them a little bit. It's hard, you know, you can't stop and start. If you go too slow, you get wiggles. So you can't, you have to just sort of do it in one fluid motion, otherwise it just doesn't work. Oh, that was wrong too. I forgot what I was doing. Oh my gosh. Okay. Um, I've still got a little bit left. See, just as well I didn't make up the um, the extra. All right. Now I'm going to hit it with the heat gun. 
20, 20 mils or 20 grams was fine. Heat gun on low. Let it heat it first, gently. And then I'm going to just push it in from the outside in. I'm going to heat it first. Now, outside, in, outside, in, outside, in. Say it with me. Outside, in, outside, in, outside, in, <laughs> outside, in. All the way around. It's starting to open up, getting like a little bit wispy. You don't want to move it too much. You, know, you don't want to destroy your patterns that you've got there, so just be careful not to blow too hard. It looks as if it might work, you guys. Oh my gosh. I was a bit disheartened after I did the other one earlier today. I thought, I can't do it anymore. But you just have to keep practicing. All right, I'm going to leave it like that. I'm not going to, I'm not going to blow it anymore. Um, and we'll see what happens. This this little one here, the blue point, I kind of, I didn't end up making a point, but I think once it all sort of blends, it'll be all right. Anyway, let's get you down for a close up. Oh my gosh, I'm a little bit excited now. I was I was disappointed before. Do you want to see my flop? See how it's all sunk to the bottom. I haven't unmolded it yet, but you can see that it, it's just sunk. It hasn't wisped. Wisped! All right. Let me get you down for a close-up. We'll see how this turns out. hope it works. Are you going to focus? Oh, focusing on the white dot again. Always the white dot. Can you see? Oh, it's a bit, it's night time here. It's a bit glary. I can't even see if I'm focused or not. But it's starting to do its wispy thing. So if it's not doing that straight away, then it ain't gonna work. Let's have a look at the middle. Actually, I might blow some of that. See on the right hand side there, I might blow some of that back a little bit oh but it won't matter this is this is the this is going to be the bottom anyway so it won't matter you won't see that it's the other side that we're going to be excited about oh wish me luck you guys uh, I'm going to give it a quick torch with my little kitchen brulee torch just to make sure we've got no bubbles but I think the um the heat gun's probably taking care of that see how it's starting to go wispy it always reminds me of, um, you know, the, the fan-tailed goldfish, how they've got those, that wispy tail. That's what it always reminds me of, the goldfish wispy tail. Oh my gosh, oh, look at the glitter there shining. That's pretty. All right, um, I will come back and do a little quick video in about an hour and we'll see what's happened. Okay, I'll see you then. Alrighty, shall we have a little look? See what's happening. Just lift my lid out of the way. It looks much more blue through my screen. It's it is more pale blue and more teal. It's funny how it changes. I don't have my ring light on though, so maybe that's why it looks a little bit different. But it looks as if it's working. It really does. Hopefully you can see. I'm getting as close as I can. It'll be really interesting to see what it looks like on the other side where my blue and my white have overlapped. Look at that edge there. It's really pretty. So oh, there's our little bit of sparkle there. So yeah, I oh, can't wait for the morning. I 
don't know that it's as pretty as um, let me grab my little pink one I don't know that it's as pretty as my my pink one because this had more layers one two three four five like it's got five different layers of petals but um, and this one's only got two so but you know they're different and next time um, I'll do a different color and I'll come up with like a different design to do and and just see how how it's different all right I'm gonna put its little lid back on and tuck it in for the night and um, I'll see you in the morning <laughs> Morning everyone. I have put this up against a black background because I don't think it's going to be very easy to see. Now I don't know if I've told you why I stuck this down onto my tile. I'd only ever used this uh, mold once and when I took the coaster out it was kind of all wavy like that on the bottom. So I thought well if I pour resin into it it's going to have a wavy bottom again. So I put some silicone on the bottom of it just a very thin amount rubbed it on and stuck it down to my tile so it was a little bit more difficult to get out but I've, I just I used my little tool and I just kind of loosened the edge so that I could get it out but I haven't looked yet I was waiting for you so we can get it out so that's it there stuck to the tile yeah it's only, it was only a cheap mold but um, I thought I could get more than one use out of it though hey Okay, so that looks better against a black background. Hey, really love the front there, actually. I, I wouldn't mind actually doing a flood coat on this because it's got a tiny little lip. Might do a little flood coat on it and put some more of that um, teal glitter on. And I can use both sides. But let's have a look at the back. I really like what's happening on the front. So let's have a look at the back. Are you ready? One, two, three. Oh, look at it, it's so pretty. Look at the sparkle center too. I think it shows a little bit more blue through my screen than when I'm actually looking at it. It's more teal, lighter blue. Let's have a look, go in for a close up, hey? So these petals, they look as if the, the pigment's a little bit thick there. I'm, I might have used like made them a little bit too thick when I drew them out or maybe my resin wasn't quite set up enough yet I'm not sure I'll still have to research it you know I'm still very new to this I'm not exactly sure why you get that on the edges and then you still get this really pretty wispy look here but it's really pretty I'm really happy with it I like both both effects the thicker lines and then those really thin wispy 3d sort of petals that you get in between look it looks as if it's like folded in on itself doesn't it so amazing how it just does that so which side do you like the back or the front front's more wispy for sure but i think i will put a little flood coat on and put the the glitter in the middle and then we'll see which side we prefer hey but as now which one do you like <laughs> All right, I'm going to take it outside when the sun comes up and do a little video for you. So um, I'll see you then, but yeah, really happy with this one too. Makes me want to do more and more and more. <laughs> All right, I'll see you soon.